In this video we're going to look at parallel lines. I've drawn two graphs, uh, line A and line B, like so, and as you can see they're clearly parallel. Uh, they will never cross each other, they're going in the same direction, and so on. Okay, so uh, let's work out their equations. So A, A has got a gradient, remember the equation is y equals mx plus c, where m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept. So let's look at its gradient. The gradient, if you go across 1, you go up 2. Across 1, you go up 2. So the gradient of this line is 2. So it's y equals 2x, and it crosses the y-axis at 1. So it's y equals 2x plus 1. Let's look at b. b, let's work out its gradient. So its gradient, if I choose this point, I go across 1, I go up 2, go across 1, go up 2. So again, it's y equals 2x. But this time it crosses at minus 1 on the y-axis, so the y-intercept is minus 1. So A has got an equation of y equals 2x plus 1, and B has got an equation of y equals 2x minus 1. Notice that both lines have the same steepness. That means that they've got to have, obviously, the same gradient. So if two lines are parallel, they must have the same gradient. Okay, So the m values for both of them must be the same. Okay, so an example of another set of parallel lines would be y equals 3x plus 1 and y equals 3x plus 2. Both of these lines have the same gradient, so that means that they would be parallel to each other. Okay, so here's a typical exam question. It says, write down the equation of a line that is parallel to the line y equals 5x. So this line has got a gradient of 5. So as long as we give another equation with a gradient of 5, it's going to be parallel to it. So you could have a line, for instance, y equals 5x plus 1, because the gradient of this line is 5, and the y-intercept is 1. Remember that the equation is y equals mx plus c, and this one here is the gradient, the m is equal to the gradient. So as long as you have something in the form y equals mx plus c with a gradient of 5, then it's going to be parallel. So if I went for y equals 5x plus 1, you could add 5x plus 2, you could add 5x plus 0.7, you could y equals 5x subtract 2, any of those. Okay, so here's another question. It says, here, here are the equations of four lines. You've got line A is equal to, y is equal to 3x minus 2, B is y equals 2 subtract 3x, C, y equals a third x plus 2, and D, y is equal to 3x. And you've been asked to say, or you've been asked which two lines are parallel. So you're looking for the two lines which have got the same gradient. Uh, so here, the gradient of the first one is going to be equal to 3. Okay, so the m is equal to 3 for that one. For line B, the gradient is equal to, well, um, as you can see here, it's y is equal to 2 subtract 3x. So in front of the x is minus 3. So the gradient for this one is equal to minus 3. If you wanted to on this one, you could have rearranged it. You could write it as y equals minus 3x plus 2. So you could change the 2 and the minus 3x around and get y equals minus 3x plus 2. But the gradient would be minus 3. The gradient for this one is a third. So m equals a third. And the gradient for this one is equal to 3, m equals 3. So the two lines that are parallel, the ones that have got the same gradient, would be a and d. And as you can see, it's 3x and 3x, therefore they are parallel. So it's a and d. A line is parallel to the line y equals 4x plus 3. It passes through the point 0, 7. Write its equation. So its, equ its equation will have to be in the form y equals mx plus c where m is its gradient and c is the y-intercept. Now, because it's parallel to this line, that means that, obviously, its gradient would have to be 4. So you're going to write y equals 4x plus c. Now we need to find the value for c. Now, you could put in the coordinate into the equation and then work out what c would be equal to. But actually, if you just look at this coordinate, this coordinate is saying that it goes through the point 0, 7. So it's saying that it goes through 7 on the y-axis. Therefore, its y-intercept is 7. That means the equation would be y equals 4x plus 7. A line is parallel to y equals 2x minus 1. It passes through 2, 7. What is its equation? So again, if you've been asked for the equation of this straight line, it's going to be in the form y equals mx plus c. Now we know that it's parallel to y equals 2x minus 1. That means its gradient must be 2. So you're going to get y equals 2x plus c. Now this time the coordinate doesn't uh, isn't on the y-axis, that means we need to put this coordinate into the equation to get our plus c. So in a coordinate, remember the first value is x and the second value is y, so we're going to put these in. So y is equal to 7, so you're going to get 7 equals 2 times x, so that's 2 times 2, which is 4, plus c. So that means that c has to be equal to 3. 
So that means the equation would have to be, if we put the C back in to um, here, <laughs> you'd get y equals 2x plus 3.